That's a good sound. No, keep that one going. <laughs> that's the sound we want to hear, isn't it? Yeah. Well, how tough has the week been at selection, and how many headaches will you have leading into the game? Yeah, it's it's a, one of those weeks when you know, nearly every magnet's available, which we haven't had this year. So um, it's a nice problem to have. Um, a couple of sleepless nights, but. Yeah, we've got a final match committee this afternoon where we're going to have to actually you know, you know, drill down on the pencil a bit and see what we get. Second time this week we haven't seen Jordy to go out there. Have you got an update on, on his availability and where he's at? Yeah, the latest is he's viral, which like all our players that are a little bit sick, we just don't want him in the in the rooms. Um, he'll train off site somewhere today, so don't chase your cameras looking for him, but he's going to do some work um, away from the club. And yeah, we're anticipating he'll be tomorrow and travel with us. Feels like every week you've had some kind of illness. Yeah, what do you reckon that is? <laughs> I don't know. You've got to wash your hands a bit more. What do you reckon? How, how have you managed to keep people away and keep it from spreading and taking over? Because, as I said, every week it seems like somebody. Yeah, well, I think the reality of, of everyone in the in our industry it happens, but what we don't others don't have is all the cameras and the eyes taking a list like you guys do for our training sessions. You know who's missed more than I do. Um, I think every other club in the land has this. Um, it's maybe not as publicised. Cameron and my check both. Yeah, they train really well, so they'll come back into selection and it'll be hard to leave those two out. What are you expecting Saturday night for? Oh, what a, what a great opportunity to go over there and you know, two good teams you know, just going at it. I, I love the opportunity to go over and test ourselves against a really opposition. You know, they've, they've been the best team in the competition for, what, 14, 15 weeks. They had a little bit of a slip, slip up last week, but um, we anticipate their best. I think, what, what's the record at home, 8-1 or something um, like that. So, um, yeah, it's going to be a cracking game. A huge win over them last time. How do you reflect on that match? And did you look at that or take much? What was that round two? I, that was pre-wrinkles and grey hair. I, like that was such a long time ago. I, I don't even remember it um, to be honest. So we haven't reflected on it too much. Taylor Holmes, two hundredths game. Do you make much of that? Yeah, Taylor Holmes will we'll celebrate that tomorrow, as we do. Um, you like to do the celebrations uh, a day before and. Because match day is all about the team, but tomorrow we'll celebrate Tay and then um, yeah, hopefully celebrate him post game. Do you expect Port to have much of a sting in the tail after all? Yeah, last yeah. Do you? Maybe. Yeah, I would have thought so. Yeah, I would have thought so. They've got um, they're a proud club. Um, you know, still a lot to play for in the season. Um, you know, get some key, key players back, and you know, a little bit of a sting this time is it's not the end of the world. So I anticipate they're going to bring every bit of their best. You guys and coaches usually play it down the top two sort of clashing what it means later no. on. No, why would you play it down? This is a, why, why would you play this game down? This is one of the best games that you'll see this year in terms of the opportunity to, to, to show what you're made of. And, you know, we're going to step into that. Um, you know, it's a tough, tough, um, tough draw to go over there and play them in their home game, uh, home ground, but it is what it is. And you step into that and embrace it all. And then it's all about just the process then. Um, nothing changes in terms of what we want to do. And we're trying to get better every day. And, this is just another opportunity to see how we're going. So do you think it'll mean anything in six to eight weeks if you meet them again? No, no, not one bit. No, <laughs> <laughs> no. of course it means something. You know, like you talk about round two, that, that means something, does it? Oh, I'm not sure. All, all we're trying to do is qualify um, for, for whatever position that looks like. We're, we're fortunate enough to say that we're going to make finals now. We haven't qualified for anything more than that yet. So then we're just in a position of trying to get better. And then yeah, at the end of the day, this is, this is not a final. Finals are in September. That's reality, but you can set some things up that hopefully stand you in good stead for when September comes. Looking at this time last year, do you, do you do anything differently or set up things differently? I think that ground, in, in essence, you need to play a different way. Um, you know, there's, there's the, 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 the reality of the, the shape of it makes you play a slightly different version. Um, so we'll have to adapt to that, but we've played two games over this year that we, we learned good lessons along the way. Given you Port Adelaide, Craig, about as hostile as it gets, they're, they're a rusted on, tuned in footy. Crowd. Yep. Um, at the moment, is it probably about as rough and tough as you're going to get to play in front of? Oh, I would have thought the MCG full of black and white looks pretty rough and tough. <laughs> <laughs> it feels like a while since you've had your full forward complement available with Mick Stay out and then you get Brody back this week. Is this as best a look you took get for a while in terms of what you've got in terms of selection heading into the business end of the year? Yeah, we're, we're still a work in progress because, you know. Dan McStay hasn't played much footy with our forward mix and you know, trying to get chemistry and leading patterns and then you know, when to block, when to lead, all these things um, you know, we just haven't had. So we're, again, we're in a work of progress. Whatever we do this week, I'm, I'm confident we'll be better. I really am. And, and whatever it looks like, whether it's in our forward mix or the way the chemistry between Geordie and, and, and Nick, that hasn't happened much. And you know, all those little things, we're just trying to, you know, to rehearse for the main event. They've obviously got some talent. What do you make of some of the young guys, such as Zach Butters and 
Rosie. Yeah, no, I've got great admiration for the, what they're doing. Um, their list looks really exciting. Rosie, Butters, you know, Horn Francis, they're exciting young kids. I think it's, a, you know, if you're a Port fan, you'd be, you'd be rapt to see those guys just continue to improve. I think they're great young players and we'd love them to have it at our footy club. Do you get any chance to have a look at Dacos and Zach Butters go ahead? Yeah, I think that'll happen at some stage. Um, whether it happens first bounce, I'd be surprised if Drew didn't go to, to, uh, to Nick. I think they'll tag him this week, won't they? Yeah, didn't you last time say bring it on? Oh, no, I just think it'd be silly if you didn't tag him. Are you a uh, wild card man? What are your thoughts? Uh, I'm not sure, but I, I, I like the thought of more footy. I love footy. The more of it, the better. If that, that, that buy round before the final start seems to be a buy for eight teams. What are the, teams, the ten teams that are finished? You know, so the more footy, the better for me. That, I'm not sure whether that's the right avenue for that, but yeah, bring it on. Given you've got such availability, how much are you kind of experimenting, tweaking? leading into finals with these sorts of games? Yeah, we're constantly looking for you know, little parts of our game we can improve. We're lucky that we're in a position where the big chunks of our footy is in good shape, but constantly the opposition trying to take things away from you. So one minute it might look okay, and the next minute all of a sudden something else pops up and go, we're going to get to work on that. Um, but the, the DNA of what we're doing, we hope that's for everyone to see week in, week out, and these other little bits we continue to improve. Do you feel Brody Grundy moved on from your side last year, now squeezed out of Melbourne's side. And what did you make of his forward craft when he was in the Yeah, look, Brody's, you know, we, we love Brody. We're not going to shy away from that. It was, you know, we had to make tough decisions to move Brody on. And what, what Melbourne decided to do with Brody is not up to us to decide that and, or, or step into that. Uh, I care for Brody. I want him to be playing his best footy for whatever it looks like. Um, yeah, he's a great player of the competition. I'm sure he'll bounce back. Just in terms of Tay Adams, 200 this week, how, how selfless is the role he's played this year to go forward of the ball? And some other players might not have done that at other clubs. And even you know in the last week, you've got Pendlebury and Mitchell both sort of playing half a game each. And the, the mix you've got in there, how selfless is what Tay's been able to do? Yeah, I really enjoyed Tay's season to, to date. He's he's found a new way of impacting the scoreboard, but still showing everyone what he's really good at. He's tough and you know, that, that role really suits him, that high forward to get up the ground and, and then equalise. and. Um, he pinch hits in the midfield when we need him. He's, he's been a great asset. I, I think he's, he's, he's had a really, really good season for us. Can you tell us what Brendan McCartney's been up to out on the track with him? Yeah, no, we, early in the year we wanted to get some some external eyes in to have a look at our program and look for opportunities to improve. We, we, we had to get to work on our stoppage craft and, um, and a contested balance around what that looks like and he's one of the best in the business of that. So. Um, yeah, he started off just coming in once a week. Now he's in there every week. So, um, no, he's been he's been coming along for the journey, which we're really grateful for. Awesome. Thank you. Thanks, guys.